Hello, welcome to Beginning Python, brought to you by Pact Publishing. My name is William Fizet. I have been a Python developer for five plus years now, working in both industry as well as doing some freelancing work. I am the owner of a popular YouTube channel which has a large amount of Python tutorials as well as game development tutorials in Python. Furthermore, I am a teaching assistant at Mount Allison University, where I love teaching beginners like yourself on how to become great programmers in Python. Here is everything we will cover in this course, starting with the Python basics, so how to install Python and how to run a simple Python script and use different arithmetic operators such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and some of the basic data types. Next, we will look at strings and doing some string manipulation, like finding substrings, splitting strings, concatenating strings together, formatting strings. Next, we will dive into lists, so how we can use the list data structure to access elements in a list, delete items from a list, sort a list, things like that. Then we will look at making conditional statements in Python. How does control flow work? How do I make my program make certain decisions with an if statement? And how can I chain logical statements together? to make a more complex expression. Next, we will look at loops and how we can use different looping structures uh, within our programs to iterate over elements and how to manipulate elements. Next, we will look at the concept of creating a function. In this section, we will look at what arguments and parameters are, what the return keyword does, and how to implement a function recursion, a function calling itself. And then we'll dive into uh, modules and we will look at the Python API and look at what the Python standard library has to offer and how we can use code other people wrote within our program. And to finish off the series, we will look at how we can use Python to do perhaps more interesting things and install a third party library called PIL slash pillow to do picture manipulations. So some things we might look at are how we can do edge detection or how we can do a grayscale or some other very interesting manipulation. We're going to install Python. So let's get started. To begin installing Python, go to the python.org website and find the downloads tab. I will show you how to install Python 3 for Windows, as it is slightly more complicated. On the Downloads page, scroll down until you see Python 3.4 and click on the installer. Next, open up the installer and make sure you run it as an administrator. Click Run and then just walk through the steps. And that is all you need to do to install Python 3.4. However, there is one more step to do. We want to add Python to our environment path so we can run it on the command line. To do this, go to c colon backslash python 3.4 and copy this path by pressing control C. And while we're here, also change the name of this executable to be Python 3.4. Just so that if we have multiple versions of Python installed, it will not have any conflicts. Next, go to Computer, System Properties, Advanced System Settings. You will have to be an administrator for this. Environment Variables. Click on the path value, click edit, and then paste in the path to where the Python interpreter is. And what this will do 
is it is going to add every executable in that library to our path so we can run the Python interpreter from the command line. Okay, it was that easy. So now make sure if you go on the command prompt that you can access Python. So Python 3.4, and you can see, yes, indeed, we are running Python 3.4.4. And now we can write our first Python program, print hello world, like that, and hello world gets appeared on the screen. Congratulations. So, are you ready to learn some Python? Come join me on this journey, and I promise you that by the end of it, you will know everything you need to know to be a great Python developer.